can tell if you work with Unreal Engine and you love materials, then you might want to consider checking this one out. As Scott Rafiti has just recently released a material valve and he has totally made the material valve open source. This is currently considered to be a fully dynamic Unreal Engine 5.3 material library interface with an idea of providing a consolidated and comprehensive user interface for all types of projects and work within Unreal Engine while applying and editing your materials quickly with version controls of the material in loop dev, CMF and other sub functions of the industry. Currently, this is within its very initial development as this promises to come with a couple of interesting tools and today we're going to take a look at how this works and how you can get on with it. So for those who like to get this, you can simply go over the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can check it out. So when you get on this page, you can either go over to the code, download the zip file or you can go over to the release section and you can download the recent release. And once you download this, you need to unzip this into your Unreal Engine plugin folder. And the next thing you need to do is to open up the Unreal project that you want to work on and you can simply go over to the edit, go over to plugins and enable the material vault. Now once you have this active, the next thing you need to do is to restart Unreal Engine so you can activate the add-on. Now with Unreal Engine fully opened up right here, you would notice that we now have a new button right here. So this opens up the material vault and like I mentioned earlier, this is still within its early stage. Of course, Scott is making a couple of announcements on his LinkedIn. So just in case you'd like to follow up with the development, then you might want to consider checking that one out. Now if you take a look at the material vault, you would notice that we have a couple of materials that you can simply apply. One of the good things about this is these materials would be with every single project that you're working on. So instead of recreating materials, or downloading new materials, you do have the very same materials across different projects. And the cool thing is you can select on any of these materials and you can take a look at the description of the material and also the textures that mix up this material. Now, if you take a look at the directory section here, you would notice that we have different kinds of materials that exist from emissive materials all the way to glass down to leather, reflectors, rubber, textile and wood, you're definitely finding something that you can work with. Again, you, all you need to do is to click on the material and you can tell what kind of material that you have here. Of course, there's a couple of things that are here, but these things are still in active development. And I've got to say that what we have here is more of an alpha build as compared to a final build. Now, what I'm saying this is, for example, if you simply middle mouse this, you can see the thumbnails, but you can't necessarily change it. Again, Scott is making some updates on this page and this would with further iteration and for application of materials with this version if you click and drag there is no indication that you're clicking a material into your viewport but for sure if you like to just simply work with this really quick what you need to do is to have the subject selected say for example we would like to use this material and we can click on the browse to asset in contents folder so once we click on that this launches us directly to where this material lives in the content library and we can simply click drag and drop you can of course go ahead and make modifications however you want and and you can make changes to this and update them on the fly. And it's super interesting to see that this is available and you can use this across different projects and just simply have that as a plugin. And meanwhile, for those who like to read up on this particular project and probably get it, of course, you can definitely go over to Scott Rafferty's page where you can see them. And speaking about open source stuff, they might want to take a look at Matterform Incorporated Toolbox. Right now, this has a lot of things. So whether you're looking for stuff that has to do with video, audio, data, AI, computer tools for management, optimization, and versioning, all the way down to touch designer, hardware tools, you're definitely finding a lot of these ones that are open source. Also, you can find some very interesting ones right here as well. You can definitely go over to leaphunt.com where you'll be able to find tons of open source plugins. All of these plugins, I'm going to put links in the description so you can go ahead and check them out. And before we go, let's talk about the free stuff that you can get for this month. This month, there is a couple of cool free stuff that you can get if you're working with Unreal Engine. And all of these have been put together to help you build your scenes and your worlds easily. And this includes the gathering resources, which is an advanced system for spawning resources and gathering them, which can also be used in multiplayer games, all the way to Line of Scythe, which is a very useful C++ plugin that allows you to create a texturable dynamic mesh that automatically adjusts your player's line of sight for object detection and post-process effects such as pseudo lighting and so on. Alongside that, there's a fantasy bundle environment kit which comes with three fantasy mega packs all the way to the Itri Cemetery down to clouds and sky, the ships with 38 clouds that you can use to beautify your landscape and your skylines. So this is it. For those who are thinking about taking a look at all of these and grabbing them, then this might be the right time for you to go ahead and check them out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. 
And of course, a huge shout out to Scott Raffetti for making all of this possible. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from it, then you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's gonna be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.